There are also all of these informal aspects of a conference where like we had a gathering of all of the women at the conference um, last night and it was really nice and I made some new friends. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that you would miss if you weren't in person. Sorry, my talk isn't as fun as the previous ones, but uh, um, yeah, I'll start. So modern C++ has like multiple ways of declaring interfaces and inheritance templates. And now the new thing is concepts. And uh, let's try to define a safe concept naively. So we say that if it has a size method, which is convertible to a long, it's a uh, safe. And we can see that it works for a rectangle. But what happens when we try to pass in, how do we store it dynamically in a vector? And like what happens if we make a typo and pass in the vector itself instead of an object of the uh, vector? So that's why using concepts naively is like regex for types and it can be pretty implicit in what you do. So you shouldn't really use it for interfaces is what uh, I personally think. And uh, Sorry. And um, yeah, um, so from that, um, uh, uh, we can augment it out to explicitly specify whether we have implemented each concept or not. And um, basically what I'm doing here is I am uh, defining another template called um, sept is implemented and explicitly uh, specifying it to true for rectangle after doing some uh, uh, another check. And the check is, uh, uh, it's slightly misformatted, but it's the actual concept which does the, um, which does the matching. And you can use the same for uh, virtual calls also. And you can just wrap it in and put the static asset in there. So uh, after you put the static asset, you just see if it is, uh, if the dynamic version of the shape is uh, constructible. And if it is, then it's a safe uh, or it satisfies the concept. So that's about it. And like, um, I wanted to f see how we can extend it to make Rust like traits in the future. Uh,